Ace King versus Ace King. Henry and Garrett have played some hands together today. They've battled a little bit, and uh, Garrett has Ace King here. He's going to three bet the big blind. Henry could certainly call or four bet. Why? Yeah, because you um, will we will forget um, yours because you're you're tank. You're tank. Yeah, yeah. And tank and tan. Forty two. And Henry's gonna four bet. Forty two hundred. You have seven teal chips. On the third to start. Garrett's going to five bet here. Ninety five hundred from Garrett. And now it's either fold or shove for Henry. Garrett putting on the pressure with Ace King. Henry does go all in for 28K. Garrett calls. We have a $56,000 pot. They're going to go one time. One time. I do once always. Doesn't matter. Go ahead one time, please. Oh, yeah. do one time. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, only doing one time. He's just asking, yeah. but he's not wanting to yeah. change the one time. Fifty-six thousand dollar pot, Ace King versus Ace King, and two hearts in the flop. Oh, Henry is free rolling, and they're gonna chop it up. Is that Ace King? Yeah. Oh, I can't see. Sorry. Fifty-six thousand dollar pot. Somebody could have won a big one there, but they do chop it up. They both have Ace King. And look at this, we got aces versus kings. Wow. Nick Nick limps with king, queen of spades. Garrett with aces on the button. And JMC with kings in the big blind. What a dream spot for Garrett here with his image. He should be getting this in and, and winning this hand every time. Aces versus Kings. <coughs> JMC in a bad spot here against Garrett. It's almost not even Three fair ways. when Garrett gets a hand 5, like Aces. 500. You know, Garrett's such a dangerous player. He shouldn't get Aces and Kings. It's not fair. And this is just a sucky spot for JMC here. Garrett four bets to 5,500. Button versus big blind. There's just no way JMC isn't jamming here every time. Yeah, we're in America. <laughs> if JMC folded here, it would be the best fold ever in the history of folds. JMC Hollywooding here, he's 100% shoving. Don't think they're deep enough for him to flat ever. I mean, I guess he'd have pot left, but I just think this is a good spot to shove if you're JMC.
Reinhardt snaps, says one time, let's go. I got him. $34,000 in the pot, aces versus king. Can JMC hit a king here? And there it is, a king right on the flop. And JMC gets lucky and wins a $34,000 pot against Garrett. Man, Garrett's just waiting for that spot. He set it up perfectly. Aces versus Kings has JMC right where he wants him. And JMC just drills the king on the flop. Wow. How lucky is that? Yeah, I was in, I was in like, I didn't even think about the phone. Oh my god, we have a cooler alert here. JMC raising pre with a7. Garrett defending with 7-3. And the flop comes ace, 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh my god, JMC's about to win another huge pot against Garrett. Are you kidding me? Garrett with a check raise to 1,200 on the flop. And JMC's sitting there with the nuts. This is pretty sick. JMC's gonna call. Wow. How good is this guy running today? Turn is a five. Watch out, guys. This is gonna be a massive pot, almost certainly. Twenty five hundred from Garrett. I think JMC should just call here if he raises it looks way too strong. Yeah, it's gonna be hard regardless for Garrett to get away from his hand, but uh, I think that a raise would look way too strong here. So you wanna just flat and do the same thing you would do with a hand like ace king, ace queen here. Rivers a nine of clubs. So Garrett loses to a better seven. There's not really any backdoor club hands that he could be facing here. Pretty much pocket aces and better seven. 8,000 in the pot. Twelve thousand. Garrett overbets pot and a half here. And JMC has to raise. He's double checking. Do I really have this hand? Is this real life right now? I mean What a day for JMC. Just coolering Garrett today. He already won a thirty five thousand dollar pot against Garrett with kings versus aces all in pre-flop. This could be a shove here from JMC. This could be a raise to 30,000. He has to figure out the sizing. See, he's got over $40,000 back. I mean, Garrett's bet is so polarized that you can just jam here. When someone bets pot and a half and you're sitting there with the effective nuts, A7 on this board, they have a really strong hand. If Garrett has a value hand here, he has a lot of boats like 7-5 and 7-9. He happens to just have 7-3. But he always has at least a 7 for his value hands when he... Bets his river. And JMC just goes all in, and Garrett just can't believe it. Um, How much 
more money than you want. Can you just count the teal, please? No. Oh, yeah, I wasn't bluffing. <laughs> I have a good hand. That sucks. You have 15 big money, yeah. Garrett just continues to have a tough day today. He knows he's beat here. He knows that nobody bluffs in this spot and that he can only beat a bluff. And he makes the good fold, the disciplined fold by Garrett. It's a tough day, but you still got to make the right folds in the big pot. And Garrett picking up pocket kings again. Raising it up to 350. JMC 5-4 spades in the cutoff. He's going to call a position. And Tan waking up with ace king of clubs on the button. Oh boy. Raise. We could see a pot 1600. here. 1600 is the three bet from Tan. Farhad's going to fold queen jack of spades. And this is what Garrett likes to see here. Doubled up Tan early in the show yeah, yeah. by bluff shoving against him. Trying to get revenge here against Tan. We could see stacks get in with these two hands and these stacks. And Garrett's image. I imagine Garrett's going to four bet to something like 5K or 4,500, something like that. Definitely not flatting here. That is not something that Garrett would do in this spot. It's an awkward spot because Tan has 14K and he's going to put in such a big percentage of Tan's stack that it just looks like he's never bluffing. And Tan just snap goes all in and Garrett's going to call and they're going to run it once. Uh, we have a all in on a call, ace king versus kings, $29,000. And there's the ace, another ace on the turn. And look at this, Tan is going to double up against Garrett. And the tough day just continues for G Man. When it rains, it pours.